here's what scares me. This scares me. That scares me. That scares me. And that scares me. I didn't even know that I was meeting you when I first started, I was like, I was just, I was speechless. I'm so glad we got to meet, my man. What are you gonna do when you grow up? I wanna be a YouTuber. My man, what are you gonna talk about? I don't know, really. You'll figure it out? Yeah. What are you, are you making some content now? Yeah. What are you talking about, your life? Like, your interests? Yeah. The stuff you're into? Mm-hmm. What are you into? Like gaming and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm glad we met, man. You wanna take a photo? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> don't ever, 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 worry about how many people are subscribed to your channel. The number one reason kids lose on YouTube is they care too much about how many people are subscribed to them. Just be patient, make good content. Nobody was following me for a long, long time. Longer than you were alive right now. Got it? Do you understand? You promise? Promise. (laughs) Great. Just gotta be thankful. Like people just, People just don't have perspective. <laughs> Gary B. It's really easy to be energized when you actually understand the score. You get real happy. I want gratitude to become a pillar of conversation in our society because you have to be grateful. You have to be grateful for what you have instead of worrying about what you don't have. For every car, for money, for fame, for jewelry, for everything you don't have, you have so much. And my great grandma Anya taught me a long time ago, if you've got health, you've got wealth. And every day I'm so grateful that the 11 people I love the most were awake and born that day and alive and not sick and not terminally ill and didn't die. And then so every business problem, every skinned knee becomes so small because I'm just so grateful for the thing that actually matters. I'm so grateful for what I have versus what I don't have. And I think people just have all these admirations and envy and all these hard wiring things. To me it's perspective, just like there's, oh, I just genuinely believe there's always somebody that has it worse and the problem is that's where I default into mentally and have practiced to put myself there versus somebody's got it better. One, two, nine, three, one, five, seven, three, one, text Gary B. Parents give money because they want control. So, my number one advice to millennials in the way that you asked it. When you pay and, and create fake you know, feedback, it just leads to entitlement which creates vulnerability and fear. But Gary, how am I supposed to own home? I'm like, you're not, motherfucker. You haven't fucking figured it out yet. You shouldn't do anything you don't earn. Gary B. The fucking comments I get on DMs when this shit comes out is crazy. They're like, Gary, bro, easy for you to say. No, no, not easy for me to say. I, just, I lived on my own two feet. I fucking went further than that. I fucking built business for my parents. Fuck you, motherfucker. Well, how am I supposed to live more humbly? Don't own a house. Big shot that you can't afford. Rent, bitch. <laughs> Seriously, but, but how am I? How am I supposed to own a home? Literally, somebody DM me. But Gary, how am I supposed to own a home? I'm like, you're not, motherfucker. You haven't fucking figured it out yet. You shouldn't do anything you don't earn. Right. That's like me saying, why am I not dropping 55 points a game in the NBA? Because I'm not doing it. The reason you shouldn't own a home, dick face, is because you haven't saved money to buy a home. Because that's the next part. What parents don't fucking understand, because I'm in these conversations. When you're paying for them, they're not saving because you pay their rent, they're buying Yeezys, Coachella, and fucking drugs. And when I say drugs, I mean $6 coffee or fucking cocaine. I don't give a fuck, pick it. 
or the drug of I need to have the freshest clothes to make pretend I'm flossing and winning when I'm not. Earn your shit. Stand on your feet. Be a fucking grown up. And anything that doesn't do that leads to insecurity. You don't believe you can. There's millions of people living yeah, humbly and making it easy. and living in the, my, you, all of you on my team. Like, it's happening every day. Thank you. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>